Coming up this week on Ralph and Vicky's Archer's Choice. It's time to take a step back. It's time to say, well, you know what? Let's go out and have a good time. Let's take the time, let's take the effort, and make hunting fun again. Hey, welcome to this week's show. This week, well, we're staying home. We are. We're going to hunt the white-tailed deer. The elusive white-tailed deer. The most sought-after big game animal on this planet, the yes, white-tailed deer. the white-tailed deer. Yes, I hunted hard this year. I hunted very you hard. You did. One particular deer buck got under my skin, got in my soul, and I gave up all kinds of other opportunities. He and got greedy and selfish, and now he's eating tag soup. However, he did get a doe. So that oh, was yeah. Good. I, yeah. I, and I, I shot a beautiful management. buck, so that's all that matters. You but know, here's the bottom saying, line. <laughs> I, I learned a very valuable lesson this What's year. What's that? Yeah. <laughs> I ain't letting a buck get underneath my skin. No. no. I feel like this, this is coming season. I got season. lots of beamings, baby. Yeah, this coming season is going to be bad. So let's oh, just get look. going, shall we? He's three. Stop. Stop. We're He's just, four. Okay. We're just going to roll. Roll the beautiful deer footage. It's that time of year again at the Cianzarulos. The preseason work has begun, and Ralph is busy clearing brush and timber for strategic placement of their tree stands and to create new trails on the property. Safety is paramount at Archer's Choice, which is why the whole crew uses the Hunter Safety System to stay safe and connected in the stand. One might say setting up for filming is twice as difficult because Ralph must not only create space for the hunter, but also for the camera operator. What we're gonna do is we're gonna head out. We've got a lot of the, the bucks starting to make scrapes, so we're gonna get in. We've had a couple mock scrapes made up. We're gonna touch them up. We're gonna check our spy point cameras, replace some batteries, and uh, get serious. We're in a major bedding area. This whole draw goes up, they bed there, and then they bed to the east. I'm just checking out the sign. We're gonna create a little mock scrape down near the other trip, the other stand, and then uh, gonna go check another couple scrape lines that I know are up on the hill, and then we're out of here. With the spy point trail cameras in position, the crew can now sit back and watch the fruits of their labor unfold. Well, Ralph and I, we just got up here on a piece of property we, we, we have, and um, we've had our spy points out here, but what we've done is because it's about 40 minutes from the house and we've gotten some really good looking deer coming on here, um, we decided to go ahead and bring our spy point, it's a Link S. 
basically it has a solar panel that's going to charge the internal battery, but it also has double A's on there. So if we get a few cloudy days, the internal battery is going to die down. The double A's are going to kick in. Once the sun starts charging up that internal battery, it no longer uses the double A's and they stay in storage. So it's awesome. But the other great thing is the link. So it's actually hooked up cellular. It will send photos to our app and we can see what else is going on without having to come here for 40 minutes away from home. We have our Ameristep line set up right there. We can sneak in, get into our Ameristep line, and hopefully, hopefully, get one of them big boys down with our Hoyts. Ralph's all, all over me for being late. Oh, it's howling out there, isn't it? So Chris was out hunting, and you know when things go bad, they just go bad. Yeah, I mean, just it, wait, you got to watch this. Yeah, just because it's perfect. you never know what you're going to rattle in. Look what I rattled up. So. I mean, it hadn't been two minutes, and these two big trucks came in. I mean, if that doesn't tell you the heavy horns work, then nothing will. I just cut corn. There's a bogged down combine. I guess the farmers have come in to fix it. That may slow the deer movement. I'm not sure. I think we're probably going to pack it in. Oh well. So that's what you get when you hunt in farm country. Dr. Chris and Ralph make their way over to the downed combine to find the wheels separated and the axle badly mangled. Phil, one of our farmers, you can see on his combine, they sheared the axle and everything. And I mean, it. what they're gonna try to do is they're gonna try to use this bigger tractor and lift it enough to get it up, to get that, get that axle and get that tire put back on. If they can't, Matt was just saying they're digging. They're gonna dig it all the way down so that they can put the tire in. With the combine in a position it can now be worked on, the farmers make short work of the job. Before you know it, the combine is back up and running, ready to harvest. I guess the bottom line is, you know, again, you get out of it what you put into it. And when you really give it all, your all, you, the rewards are there. Even if you don't shoot something, right. the rewards are there. I mean, you could think you're in the best spot, but you never know what's going to happen. And that's what this year was all about. Thinking I snuck in our timber stand. A lot of deer hunting today is done over food plots. Right. You know, a, a food source. And actually some places where it's legal, you know, they're baiting them. Right. You know, I think we've lost some of times is just getting in the woods. Mm -hmm. you, you know what I mean? You know, go finding your acorns or actually just finding your escape routes to and from the bedding areas. And this year we did it on our little piece of timber. Yep. You know what I mean? Because we created better habitat. We got them to, you know, to, to really start hanging out there. As the afternoon nears, deer start to filter through the area. While a few bucks do pass by, the thick brush and lengthy yardages make an ethical shot out of the question. Before long, a doe approaches the stand and presents an opportunity. Anticipating a potential shot, Ralph is at the ready.
Ralph is in the stand with Vicky behind the camera. The two see several deer, but nothing within range of the Hoyt. Eventually, a doe presents a shot, and Ralph is ready. He shoots the deer, pins her, she goes running off and piles up. Yep. And I she turn back to him and I'm like, Ralph, I'm like, shouldn't you maybe tell the camera person you're gonna go ahead and shoot? Because if I didn't know you were gonna shoot, then what was your response to me? Did you record it? Yeah, I recorded it. <laughs> Isn't that something you should tell your camera person? I thought we were running for a walk. Did you need to get a dog? Because seriously, I never expected you to let that arrow go. Yeah. Well, I, I was just practicing for this year. Oh, here we go again. Yep. This year, it's 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 brown. It's down. Yeah, baby. The rug is on. Yeah. And we need we need some meat for some of the farmers. And that deer just presented itself. I, I couldn't pass it up. You know, I think we've lost sight on hunting, mm -hmm. you know, in, in general. Right. And, and we, we, you know, we're all making it about, and it's, we're, we're all to blame. Yeah, we all want I mean, to shoot a, you, big critters. Listen, we, we all want to we shoot the biggest to. stand. Don't kid yourself. We, everybody right, does. You know. But the reality of it is, especially us, you know, on TV, I, I think we got to get back to the basics and show the people the fun, the camaraderie, and right. fill in the freezer. It's time to take a step back. It's time to say, well, you know what, let's go out and have a good time. Let's take the time, let's take the effort, and make hunting fun again. It's the end of October, almost the 29th. This afternoon, it's about 49 degrees outside, and I have RJ, my little man, filming me out in the ground blind. It's a beautiful afternoon, we've got a south wind. We've been getting some great pictures of some different, a bunch of different deer coming into this food plot and a bunch of turkeys. I did forget to go buy my fall turkey tag, so I may have to do that tomorrow. We're just going to get set up and um, wait for the deer. Previously on Archer's Choice, RJ is behind the camera as a heavy eight point passes by the stand. He's, um, oh, he showed up out of nowhere and I couldn't get my bow off of the ceiling. Oh my gosh. I hit him too far back. I know I need, um, RJ. I'm gonna text dad so that he can, um, know what's going on. Um, oh. We're gonna have to, 
We're gonna have to give him time. There's no, he, it's, it, because I hit, you know, one in doubt, get out. We're just gonna take our time and get out of here, RJ. We have to go look for him. It's gonna rain. There's a huge rainstorm coming. I know, but should we at least go look for blood? Look, you see these clouds? Let's, let's go back to the house, get some lights. All right, this is the reality, you know? I mean, and the reality is, is we've always tried, I mean, not always tried, we, we are. You do the best that you, you can. You do the best that you can. Um, Vicky shot a great deer tonight, big heavy eight. Uh, and this is what's coming in. And we've got a, a major rainstorm. The problem is, is we know what this arrow does right here. You can't push him. If you we can't. push him, we'll never find nope. him. We so, have water on the property. It's so only 33 only... acres. I mean, but, but it's a major bedding area. So we have the potential of him laying down, not being disturbed. Uh, there's, we also have coyote den on that. We property. have a lot of coyotes. Because we have so many pictures on our spy points of coyotes in that food plot where I shot him. It's going to be one of those long nights, and you all know what we're talking about. Well, as you guys saw, we um, I shot a beautiful eight point last night, and I hit him back. There's no doubt about it. We looked at it over and over. We used the little decoy thing to see, and I mean, I know it, it's far back. Um, we gave it overnight to get it, you know, there's no reason to go and push him. It was supposed to rain pretty hard last night. It doesn't look like it did. The ground is just barely wet. So we're going to go out and see if we can't go find this buck. I'm hoping because we didn't go push him. Hopefully coyotes didn't get on him and hopefully he's right there. It did not go through. So then this has got to be his right side. Right, this, this has got to right be his side. right side. I saw in the video is he hooks up. Either he goes up or he goes right down that trail. Guess what we got? Woo! Woo! Right there, right there, buddy. Bro! <laughs> Freddy just found him. <laughs> oh, buddy! Oh, he just, we could have got him last night! <laughs> we got him! Oh, my we God! Got him. Oh, we could have come out last night, but you know what? It's always, I mean, I know, I hit that shot one in the back. I obviously, when we got our, my arrow, it didn't smell, but I must have gotten liver. We were afraid to come out and push him last night. And we probably could have gotten him. We probably could have get. You never know when you just gotta wait. The coyotes, the coyotes didn't find him. He's right. He's done. Look at him. Right Up here, here oh. honey. Look at this look beautiful. At oh. Look at him. Oh, he's got. He's beautiful. Look at the mass on him. He's a beautiful, mature puck busted in high guard. Look at him. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, Freddy buddy. Come here. Look at him. Oh, thank you, buddy. Thank you guys. Chad. Awesome. Totally new buck. He's not on any of our cameras. That was a great deer, honey. You know what's really that cool buck about that came deer? from nowhere. We don't have any photos of this deer. I mean, we have Ben, our spy nobody has out. them. All of yeah. our our neighbors that we hunt, nobody. We don't know where that. I mean, if obviously you don't see every deer on your property. No. But even putting up. But I think cameras. this one went. Da, 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 boom, and he just appeared. He was like, "I am yours, Vicky." He was a bruiser. And I was like, "Okay." He was. I'll tell you what. Yeah. He's the guy that chased out the buck I've been after. I took care of him though for you. See? Yeah. That's what I did for Should've you. Should have done it a lot sooner. I did. I did the end of October. What do you want? You Should hunted him the like rest the of, of the season. I wasn't home the first Yeah, I did. I hunted hard for that one deer. You did. We yeah. didn't, you didn't get it, but we got meat in the freezer, so that's what counts, and, you know. And better luck this coming year. So, yes. you know, we hope you enjoyed this week's show. We'll see you next week. Same time. Same channel. Right here on the Archer's Choice.